Welcome everybody to episode 35 of our podcast series where we discuss people that had encounters with Jesus while he was walking here on earth. And Gerald, we've heard this phrase, I think, a couple of times <laughs> in our life, doubting Thomas. No, don't and, be like and doubting and Thomas. Don't be like doubting Thomas. And then you, you hear it, people just throw it around that saying quite often. Yeah. But this is actually yeah. a very interesting character. Yeah, ex- exactly. And, and I just want to say, most people that throw that around... Uh, you could almost say to him, well, yo, don't be like dramatic Peter. Yeah, <laughs> you know exactly. Because you know yeah. it's always these, these Peters, these, um, oh, let's go walk on the water. Oh, no, I don't think it's good. Oh, don't be like doubting Thomas. Again, we immediately pick up, yeah, just off the nickname that people have given him, doubting Thomas, that God calls different kinds of people. Yeah. And sometimes that cynical friend that's in the friendship circle He's there for a reason because if he finds out something real about God because he's really asking the questions, that could be the key to freeing us all. And we'll probably speak about that yeah, later. Yeah, but in we're saying that, in the, you're saying we, the cynical people that we have sometimes in our group, but he's one of the few guys that actually said, look, if we have to die for this cause, let's go. Let's die for this. And yeah. I'm not, this is, even though we say doubting to Thomas, but this is something that I believe in in, in this cause that yeah. he believes in. Well, this is the crazy thing. I mean, um, <laughs> I think you get all these people, uh, uh, I, I nearly said all these people that you know, they're like, they're like madly in love with Jesus. The first shot that goes off, they just they're gone. Disappear. They're gone. It's yeah. like I'm out of here. You know, oh, the first time something happens in the church that disappoints them, they're gone. Mm. Uh, real drama queens. Um, not this guy. No. This guy says, listen, you're going to have to explain it to me slowly. You're going to have to give me the details. I want to hear it. I want to hear it carefully. And if you need to, I'm going to ask you to repeat. But I need to understand that. And Jesus has patience with him yeah. because, and, and, and he says this, he says, my Lord, my God. You know, so, so he genuinely encounters Jesus. But there's a reverence where you see some of the other disciples have got this whole thing of, you know, they, they're the rock and roll stars. They're walking around Jesus. This guy remains in a reverence. And other people even think it's him doubting at times. Yeah. So he actually, everybody's seen Jesus now, all the rest of the disciples. And he's one of the last to actually encounter Jesus. Yeah. But this was more Jesus also reaching out to him. Yeah, I think I think Jesus that like, comes in and sees everybody and says, <laughs> like, where's, where's, Tom? where's Thomas? <laughs> yeah. so let's, uh, I remember Peter's story. I know where Peter's not, but where's Thomas? Yeah. And um, and I think I think that happens. You know, disappointment. You know, Rainer, um, you know, I've been in ministry a long, long time now. We know that trauma, disappointment, people handle it differently. Mm. Some people want to be around a crowd. Some people want to be alone. Some people want to be aggressive. Some people just want to be absolutely um, tearful, whatever you want to do. But he just obviously is disappearing. But again, it just reveals Jesus. It just reveals Jesus. Jesus says it's important for me to make my way to him Mm. and uh, encounters him. And that's when he comes out. He says, my Lord, my Lord, my God. So he sees Jesus. Still obviously a little bit of doubt. Jesus Mm. Recognizes this, shows him the the hands, yeah. the the nail pierced hands, and this is when things start changing in his life. You know, and I think for me that one psalm just comes up all the time: taste and see that the Lord is good. You know, yeah. God actually calls us sometimes to seeing is believing. We yeah. have to we have to go out and actually find the truth for ourselves. Yeah, I think as well with the kind of personality is this is the kind of guy that um. He, he wouldn't have been so impressed with everything. He would have been very logical in his approach. Mm. But sometimes you do need that miracle. And I've met people like that that are, that, that, that are very calculated, but they've got that one miracle that God did for them, which just influences their whole spiritual journey for yeah. their life. And uh, like you say, when they wanted to take Jesus to the cross, he said, oh, I'll tell you what. Then they take us all. Let's go. Yeah. You know so this is someone that was... He was he was solid, solid individual, mm. but he needed time. Jesus understood that. Shows him his um, the holes in his hands. That becomes a testimony to you and I, forever. And then I think uh, you maybe you should lead the people into that famous famous saying, because as he as Jesus is saying to him, listen, I'm going to be going away. Da da da. You know, this is what's going to happen. Everything's going to be okay. He then says to Jesus, 
oh, you not are, so quick. I don't know where you're going. Yeah, yeah, I don't know where you're going. And But the, the phrase comes up that I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And nobody gets to the Father except through me. Absolutely. And isn't that amazing? That's the very phrase that is the foundation of yeah. us trying to reach people around the world for Christ. All born out of someone who, um, who, who needed time to receive Christ. Mm. Maybe that's a word of encouragement I can give to you and to those that are listening out there. Is, uh, don't, don't write other people off too quickly. Maybe you think they're a little cynical. Maybe you think they're taking too long to come to the revelation of Christ. Just love them into the kingdom mm. because they might find the one truth that transforms your life for the rest of your days. Yeah. Sure. I think that, <laughs> that sums it up perfectly for us <laughs> on this thing, that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Absolutely, um, bro. Yeah, that it's someone like the doubting Thomas that actually recognizes this truth in Jesus. And mm. on that, I just want John Piper says this, outside of Jesus Christ, God is actually a dangerous God. And we don't understand. And this is some uh, maybe a revelation that he sees, that the need that we have for Jesus and the forgiveness of our sins to be able to, to go into, to enter to the Father's throne room. No, absolutely. Uh, I love yeah, it. Yeah, so from, <laughs> we could speak forever. Yeah, yeah. From our side, then, um, if you do like this podcast, please share mm. it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and for the guys listening on radio, it's great having you with us. And from our side, nothing but love. Nothing but love, friends. Hey everyone, we're just busy wrapping up actually the series, and the one that we had was regarding doubting Thomas was our last one, and um, we are going to take a break for a short while. But Gerald, we discussed Jesus now in this time. Um, that he encountered people on earth while he was here physically. That's right. If there was one thing that stood out for you, what is that? Jesus wants to connect and not necessarily correct. Mm. And in his connection, you want to correct. Yeah. You know, so that's the bottom line for me. This, I'm so encouraged right now. I cannot tell you. I met Jesus, me, mm. again. I met Jesus. I like the guy. I like him. He's yeah. my Lord. He's my Savior. Yes. But Jesus wants to connect. He's keen to connect, no matter what kind of vulnerabilities you've got. Yeah. And then from my side, I think <clears throat> we just overcomplicated stuff a lot of times. And it's actually simple. The gospel is simple. It's the good news. That's a, that is what it was about. That no. was what his life's testimony was about. Whatever you do, don't make Jesus Pentecostal. Yeah. <laughs> don't make him reform. Don't make him Catholic. Don't do it. Let Jesus yeah. just be Jesus. That's it. So we're gonna we're ending off this, and next year we're gonna start off with a brand new series, Very also excited. regarding about someone that's been connecting with people yeah. here or well, while they were here on Earth, and that is a man named Paul. Yeah. So interesting, Paul wrote three quarters of the three New Testament. quarters of the New Testament. But interestingly, and in that you got to ask yourself, how do you do that? Coming back from his background, yeah. I mean, we'll talk about that and stuff. And who are the people that he engaged with? Who's the people that influenced his journey? Um, there were some believers. There were some people away from that. But Paul had a way, and uh, th I'm really looking forward yeah. to that journey. In fact, um, if I'm not mistaken, there's over 100 people's names. So we'll be able to be involved with that probably for a long time yeah. going into <laughs> next year. two years that you can <laughs> do a series on that. We'll see how it all works yeah. out, but I'm excited. Yeah, so from our side and just saying, yeah. nothing but love. Nothing but love, friends. And I want to remind you that, um, like Rena said, Two weeks, we're just going to be breaking out. Middle of January, we'll be coming back and we'll let you guys know. And uh, Ren, I just want to take a moment to thank you, partner. Yeah. It's been incredible to be on this journey, learning about Jesus together. And uh, yeah, God bless you. God bless and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Nothing but love. Cheers. Let it